Yo guys, this is Louis Tinder God and today we're talking Tinder experiences. These days it's completely normal to meet up with a chick the same day you match her, to make out with a chick the first minute you see her when meeting her for the first time, or even to have girls travel across borders to come meet you after a solid Tinder conversation. That's what my life is like with Tinder and it can be exactly the same for you. Maybe you're familiar with Tinder deniers like this idiot, they say things like Oh no, Tinder is a waste of time. Why don't you go out on the street or in a club and approach women in real life? And today I'm giving you 7 Tinder tips that will multiply your Tinder success by 17 billion! First tip, the single correct way to swipe. Question. Do you know anyone that hasn't gotten laid for so long that they would literally bang anyone? And do you think it helps this person that they would bang anyone? People notice his desperation in everything he says, everything he does, and even everything he thinks. One thing's for sure, it's not very attractive and no woman will want to give herself to a guy that is willing to bury his schlong in a pile of mud. And on Tinder it's exactly the same. If you are swiping any girl to the right, then you are the guy who's about to go balls deep in a pile of mud. Now you might think women on Tinder don't know that I'm swiping anyone to the right. Correct, but Tinder does know. Tinder has a super complex algorithm that knows anything you do, whenever you do it. Tinder will see you as a man of low standards and it will reflect this behavior back at you. You will get to see less hot women, you'll eventually get less matches and less dates. The solution? Swipe selectively. Just like in real life, you wouldn't bang any fatty with crocs. If you swipe selectively and you then get a notification, you instantly know it's a quality chick. The guy swiping all women and then picks out the hot ones, he's wasting a lot of time. Tip 2. Is there a tight rubber band around your balls, bro? Or is there another reason you're so uptight? Tinder can be so much fun even when a conversation is not going entirely as planned. Things like the timing of your messages, how many messages you send, how many times she texts back, how many emojis you can use. Bro tip, if you're using more than zero, you're doing it wrong. A man who's texting while in a bad mood doesn't even get to shoot some hoops. But a guy cracking up at his own text will more often than not Slam dunk on the nose. This lady, for example, says in her profile text that she's not a horse girl. You know, horse girls, those women who spend every free minute of their spare time with their horse, drawing horses, or even riding horses. My gym buddy Michael has completely mastered the art of having fun on Tinder. Fuck, just when I wanted to learn how to ride horseback. What now? Please respond. Please? Michael, I don't think so, buddy. Yes, we are going to force this relation even if we have to sacrifice three versions. When people type in all caps, I'm usually more inclined to listen. Let's do this. Would that be linked to your daddy issues? I'm an amateur psychology student in my spare time. Would that be linked to your daddy issues? I'm an amateur psychology student in my spare time. Yes, completely correct. Good student. If you pay close attention to the timestamps when my gym buddy Michael sends his texts, you will notice that he doesn't take this whole Tinder thing very seriously. He just wants to have fun. If chicks go along with his unique um, sense of humor, well, great. To him that's just bonus points. And they went along with it more often than not. Michael never had a lack of Tinder dates and at the moment of recording this vlog he has been in a relationship thanks to Tinder for one year, two months and three days!
How do you think I've been doing this for five years and still spend countless hours on the app every single week? And it's not only because I'm a attention hungry narcissist. Oh, by the way, bro, do you want the best Tinder opener ever? Check the link down below the video and I'll give it to you for free in exchange for some validation and likes. Tip three. Three, three. Don't focus the conversation on yourself and don't focus the conversation on her. Do you know how to recognize a true Tinder ultra noob? A girl just has to ask any small question and the Tinder ultra noob will open up completely. So uh, what do you do? Have you ever considered visiting the pyramids in Egypt? So um, what is your ultimate goal in life? And the Tinder ultra noob will reply something along the lines of this. Some guys are so focused on themselves that they miss clear signals by their match. And after being on Tinder for multiple years, I started seeing patterns. These Tinder ultra noobs eventually evolve in some sort of semi-advanced Tinderers. It is in this phase they realize they can't create a deep connection by just focusing on themselves. So what do they do? They completely focus on her. The semi-advanced Tinderer thinks about things like Hmm, what does she do? What does she want? What are her goals? Hmm, what's her true passion? What can I say to make her like me more? Here's a classic example of some guys stuck in this phase. Don't be the semi-advanced Tinderer that is completely focused on her. Be the Tinder demigod that is focused on the vibe. So how do you do this? Well, next time, take a little bit more distance. Distance from all this factual information that everyone is spreading around so extensively. For example, next time, take things less serious, really exaggerate in your response, or use some crazy word in your sentence. This way, you'll make sure you have this unique vibe in your conversation. And if you are able to provide this unique vibe, then you are different from everyone else. Everyone else who is so busy providing this factual information that no one gives a shit about. Not only will you create a unique vibe, you will also be way more mysterious. For example, let's have a look at this chick. Her profile text is just a couple emojis of explosions. That's a lot of banging in your bio. Big into those kittens. With those kittens, she means the kittens that are in one of my Tinder profile pictures that you can see right here. Want to touch them? Are they still baby kittens? Louis, where are you located? They are old and grown up now. One even has a successful business. The other one is a hustler. Dark stuff. I'm currently located in a coffee bar. I bet you aren't. You jelly. Time for tip number four. And this one will sound super obvious, yet the odds are you're doing it wrong. Even the most skilled captain gets lost on the ocean without a compass. Have you ever heard this quote before? You haven't? That makes complete sense, because I just pulled it out of my ass. But this quote does reinforce my point. If you are just floating around on Tinder without knowing where you want to end up or where you want to go to, then you won't see a lot of results. Just like with any aspect of your life, you need a goal. Some place you would like to go to, a specific result you would like to achieve. Are you looking for a serious exclusive relationship? The kind of true love thing where you stay together until the day you die. Good, then create a profile that attracts exactly this type of woman. Would you prefer to have a threesome tonight still with two trannies? Uh, fine, not. also good, then create a profile that attracts exactly this type of... This type of... 
women. You would think that it makes sense that if you are looking for a mature woman that is looking to settle down, that you don't stuff your profile with party pictures. Yet I see guys doing this over and over again. On the other side, there's guys looking for brief moments of pleasure. And these guys are complaining that every woman they match with is looking for something serious. Well, maybe that's because these guys are exhibiting their parental skills in the picture where they are cuddling with their cute little nephew. Or maybe because you are showing a more caring side in picture after picture with your dog. Or maybe it is because they don't have a single picture that makes her princess parts tingle. If you are not entirely sure how to target and attract exactly the type of woman that you want to meet in this specific moment, check the article I linked down below the video. Bah! Tip 5. Enable Tinder notifications because they boost your score. Maybe you are like me and you become slightly aggravated by the tsunami of notifications on your phone. That's why I disable all push notifications on my phone. By the way, disabling the push notifications from whatever texting app you're using has a huge advantage. But that's something to talk about in another video. Anyway, disabling all push notifications, except those from Tinder. There's a lot of good reasons for this and I'll go ahead and give you Three. First of all, girls appreciate it if you contact them immediately. If a match has been there for a couple days, then you quickly get bored of it and lose all excitement. Secondly, if you have a new match and you instantly text her, the Tinder algorithm will reward you with more points. Tinder loves active users and rewards them with more points. The more points you have, the hotter chicks you'll get to see. Thirdly, if you are a forgetful type of guy, then this push notification will remind you to send a text. If you don't text her for too long of a time, you will lose the flow in your conversation and as a result, lose your date. Tip 6. How to keep a conversation going. If you want to have nice Tinder experiences, then you'll need to be able to keep a conversation going. Easier said than done. Because if you mess up a couple times, she'll get rid of you and continue talking with the other guy. The guy who is able to keep the conversation going. Emojis. Look bro, if you're ever in doubt whether or not you should use an emoji, then just don't. Are you someone whose Tinder conversations often die? Then also for you, I'll link an article down below the video. Tip 7. Don't listen to this lame Tumblr quote. Instead, you want to go against the flow. This is what the Merriam-Webster dictionary says about going against the flow. When you suppress your nice guy behavior and purposely tease her a bit, with as a result that she wants to take off your pants instead of friend zoning you. Take a lesson from our youngest bootcamp participant, Jim. Jim teases girls harder than an Olympic medal winning stripper and this results in a significant rise in his lay count. If I were sitting next to you right now, we could go through your Tinder conversations together. And in the blink of an eye, I would see whether you are the kind of guy that gets friend zoned or not. Do you know about yourself that you are someone that would rather compliment than tease? Are you an ass kisser rather than an ass kicker? Then I suggest you purposely tease her next opportunity you get just like you used to do in primary school. This way to transform from a chihuahua into a massive pitbull. And then I have eight more tips for you. For example, what you should do when you run into wife material and how you can catch her. So make sure to read the full article linked down below the video. Please subscribe Reno and like Reno. Okay.